100 million coins is a lot of GP. Do you have 100 mil? Would you like to make 100 mil? If so, I can help you out with that. Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and today I'm gonna give you a few tips and money-making methods for making 100 mil GP, even if you're starting on a brand new member's account. Like I said, 100 mil is a lot of GP, so when it comes to making 100 mil, the main thing you gotta remember is that it's not gonna be a quick grind. You either are gonna have to spend time getting your stats up and completing quests to unlock high-tier money makers, or you have to spend a lot of hours on those low tier money makers. I mean, making 1 mil GP an hour is generally a good money maker if you're pre 100 mil bank, but that still means it takes 100 hours to get that 100 mil mark. The most important thing is to find a money maker that you're willing to grind out. If you force yourself to grind a money making method that makes a few hundred extra K an hour, you're just gonna get burnt out and not do it enough. So if you find a money maker that you like to grind, you're gonna make even more money from that. Let's take a look at some money makers that you can grind on your way to 100 mil. We're gonna start at the early money makers that you can get started with with very little cash and then work our way up the ladder as you make more money. If you have zero coins to your name, you can get 10K by going down those first three floors of the stronghold security and that should get you started. Blast Furnace is the answer to the early game money making, to be honest. You can get started with Blast Furnace on day one. It's highly suggested to get a coal bag from Motherload Mine though, which does take like 10 to 12 hours of Motherload depending on your mining level, but this is also gonna get you some ores to start with. You can sell off anything that isn't coal after that and then buy some iron ore and start making steel bars. This requires 30 smithing, but most of that 30 smithing can be accomplished by completing the Knight's Sword quest. Steel bars can push over 500k GP an hour pretty easily, which can get you up to a 10 mil plus cash stack faster than most money makers that have such low requirements. It is also decent XP an hour, and when you get up to rune bars, you can be making over 1 mil GP an hour here. If you don't like the blast furnace, you could work on some crafting. Starting with gold jewelry, you can make gold bracelets at 7 crafting, or free to play players can even make gold rings at only 5 crafting. Completing the dwarf cannon quest is going to jump you from 1 to 7 crafting, and you can start making gold jewelry. As you level up more, you can start Start making the higher tier jewelry, make a little bit more money per hour, and get better XP. You can also enchant some of that jewelry, like enchanting sapphire rings into rings of recoil and making some money while getting magic XP. At 10 crafting is when you can turn flax into bowstring, which does end up like a little under 200k GP an hour, but it is very, very cheap to get started, so this could push you over a million coins to work with on your very first day, no problem. And for one more early money making method, you could do some fletching. Fletching logs into longbows does not max out at a lot of money, but logs are are very cheap and fletching is very quick XP overall, so you can get up to maple, you, and even magic longbows with pretty little effort. Once you've gotten up to like the 10 mil or so GP stack, you can start buying more supplies for your money makers. Tanning dragon hides is a classic money maker and it has no requirements outside of just needing cash to get started. All four dragon hides, green, blue, red, and black, tend to be similar money per hour, but it does fluctuate, so of course it is worth checking the prices before you do it. There's a few magic spells that can be used to make money. I mean, we did already bring up like enchanting sapphire rings, but that's a pretty low level money maker. Making tally tabs at a lectern in your house is low effort. You get some magic XP and you will profit. You do need 40 construction to get started, but that is not a lot of construction XP. And you can start making Varrock tally tabs with only 25 magic. There's also a couple of lunar spells that make money while getting magic XP, which does require completing the lunar diplomacy quest. You can use the spin flax spell to make bowstrings without a spinning wheel, which does give some crafting XP as well. And then if you complete the dream mentor quest you could send some plank make uh, making mahogany planks can profit a bit but it does require more money to get started on making mahogany planks than it does to get started making bowstrings because flax is incredibly cheap if you have been rocking some early crafting methods that i brought up and your crafting level is getting a little higher you could start to make some dragonstone jewelry like dragonstone rings or dragonstone bracelets uh, dragonstones in general are very expensive compared to those lower level gems so that's why you would need a decent cash stack to get started with but 10 mil plus should be fine Making unfinished potions can make you some pretty easy profit, and you don't need a high level of herb lore to get into it. Making unfinished Ronar potions requires 30 herb lore, and then of course a decent amount of cash to get started. You don't get any herb lore XP from making an unfinished potion, which is why there's a lot of players that are training their herb lore that are willing to buy the unfinished potion for more money than the herbs and vials so that they can get the better XP rates, which gives you some room to profit. Putting diamond bolt tips or ruby bolt tips on adamant bolts is a low intensity money maker that, again, mostly just needs some cash to get started, and then a decent fletching level. Diamond and ruby bolts are good for bossing when they're enchanted, so they're always going to be in demand. Actually enchanting the bolts does not profit currently, so you want to just buy adamant bolts and the bolt tips, put them together, and then just sell back the unenchanted bolts on the grand exchange. 
Once you reach up to a 25 mil cash stack, you can start to invest pretty hard into other money makers. First, I'll go back over to the Blast Furnace Life. Uh, if you get up to 85 smithing, you can start doing rune bars, but you also need a lot of cash to buy a lot of rune ores, so that 25 mil stack is a good goal for that. Even some of the methods that we already talked about, like unfinished potions, dragonstone jewelry, tanning dragon hides, they're all going to be more convenient if you have more money to work with and you don't have to buy and sell as often. 25 mil is also plenty of money to buy some good combat gear and start to get into some bossing. Now, you will need to get your combat stats up to work on bossing money makers as well. This is something I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you want to start to do the higher tier money makers that make more money per hour, you probably will have to spend some time getting the requirements first. If you're looking to get into bossing, this is a good time to go hang out at like Ammonite Crabs or maybe even some Nightmare Zone to get yourself a good combat level. Even if you're fighting something that doesn't require high combat to kill, you're going to make more money from that monster if you have even higher combat stats. So getting up to like 70, 80, even 90 plus in each of your big combat stats is going to be a very big deal for PVM money making. If you've never done any bossing, I would say to get started on Barrows, Giant Mole, or Seracnus. All three of these bosses are pretty simple to kill, but they don't max out at a lot of GP an hour. The Dagonoth Kings don't require high gear and stats, but they are more complicated than just fighting like the Giant Mole. They do have some nice drops like the Archer's Ring and the Berserk ring that are a few mil a piece though, which is a solid payday when trying to reach that 100 mil stack. If you're currently rocking a less than 100 mil bank and you want to make money with bossing, I highly suggest Vorkath. Vorkath is a tougher fight than the other bosses that I just listed off, and you will need to complete Dragon Slayer 2, so it might feel a little bit out of reach right away, but setting your sights towards completing Dragon Slayer 2 is going to set a lot of goals for you, and it's going to mean a lot of progress for your account. Once you unlock Vorkath, you can start grinding the boss with as little as a rune cross crossbow and some ruby bolts. If you prefer to melee Vorkath, then the Dragon Hunter Lance is best in slot, but the Osmumpton's Fang is a close second best melee weapon there, and it's currently about 20 mil cheaper than the Lance. Vorkath has a very consistent drop table, and he's always going to make solid money. It does not max out as high as like raids and necks by any means, because Vorkath doesn't have that one super expensive drop you're going to get occasionally to make a ton of money, but you can make a few mil GP an hour very consistently, which should really be sending you on your way to making 100 mil and even more. And quickly for one bonus method, if you have at least 5 mil to 10 mil cash to start with, you can buy some crystal keys and then loot the chest in Taverly for some easy GP gains. You'll want to move your house to Taverly, which requires 10 construction, but then you can use a house teleport near the chest and a good bank teleport like a ring of dueling or a crafting cape to get back to the bank and reset the trip. Again, the most important part of making money on OSRS is to find a moneymaker that you just really want to grind. Find something you enjoy doing and you'll be able to make a lot of money out of it. I do have a lot of money making and bossing guides outside of this one too, but if you're looking just for even more different methods, just trying to find something you like, I do have this video that is a list of 100 plus money making methods that might be the one for you. 100 mil is also not the end of your journey. Once you have made 100 mil, how do you spend it? If you want me to make a video on what to invest your 100 mil on, be sure to click on that like button. Thank you for watching and best of luck on your money making grind, everybody.